Welcome to our channel. Nostradamus's Quatrain stated that the King of Terror would come from the sky in the year 1999, and in the seventh month, often interpreted as a prediction of doomsday in July 1999. However, Nostradamus likely meant something entirely different, as the Judgment Day did not occur. Another intriguing date, do you also remember the year 2012? The beginning of the end? You must have already heard about the long cycle Mayan calendar, which is divided into great cycles lasting approximately 5,125 years. One of these cycles ended on December 21st, 2012, giving some people the ammunition they needed to declare the approaching apocalypse. These individuals also often have theories about how the world will end. Some claim that Earth will collide with a mysterious planet known as Nibiru, Planet X, Harris, or a large meteor. Another popular theory is that the Earth's magnetic poles will reverse, causing a reversal of the planet's rotation. Perhaps the most intriguing part of this whole apocalyptic frenzy about the end of the world is that the Mayans themselves did not expect the world to end in 2012. Instead, they anticipated it to be a time of great celebration and happiness when the planet completes its current great cycle. It's clear that the world did not end, but unsuccessful doomsday predictions have never stopped the creation of new ones, so be cautious. Here are six predictions that need to be noted in the calendar. But before we delve into these predictions, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's get started. The Messiah International Foundation was established in 2002 and operates as a sort of spiritual blend of everything. It seems that the Foundation believes in all theistic religions, but it is primarily a mixture of Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and Hinduism. According to this Messianic International Foundation, scientists are well aware that a huge asteroid is heading towards our planet, set to collide with us in 2026. But although those unnamed scientists believe that by then we will have the technology to destroy it, the Foundation disagrees. According to them, it's clear cut. The asteroid will signify the end of days. The Foundation claims that when that happens, the so-called expected ones will return and save all those worth saving. Needless to say, Jesus is one of those expected messiahs. For those who believe it won't be Jesus, Mahdi, an Islamic redeemer, or Kalki Avatar, the final higher incarnation, will appear. Riaz Ahmed Gohar Shahi, who founded the Messianic Foundation, is also one of the expected messias and will return, even though he is not yet deceased. When you think of Newton, you probably associate him with science and reason. But it turns out that the man who documented gravity might have needed to be a bit more grounded himself. It's no secret that Newton firmly believed in God. But few remember that his faith in the Bible was as strong as his faith in science. He even believed that the Bible contains clues to the end of the world for those who look closely enough to see them. Newton's calculations are long and complex, but essentially, he believed that the end of the world would come after a long period of corruption in the Catholic Church. Newton was convinced that the year 800 marked the beginning of this corruption and papal domination. The book of Revelation in the Bible mentions time, times, and half a time, which is interpreted as one year, two years, and half a year, or a total of 3.5 years. It also mentions 42 months, which corresponds to 3.5 years. These figures together give 12 and 60 days in the old Jewish calendar. And because days often represent years in the Bible, he concluded that the end would come in the year 2060. Newton defended himself by saying that although the world could end later than 2060, he saw no reason why it could not end sooner. Jews, Christians, and Muslims. These religions, along with a few smaller ones, are known as Abrahamic religions and represent more than half of believers worldwide. Christianity is actually a continuation of Judaism, but in Islam, Jesus appears as a recognized prophet, not as the Messiah. According to a number of Islamic hadiths, the apocalypse will not be a one-day event, but something that will occur over time. It will begin with the world becoming a place of war and oppression against Muslims, and in response, Muslims will unite and prepare the ground for the return of the Prophet, who many believe could be Jesus. The hadiths say that the Son of Mary will break the cross and kill the pig. Breaking the cross, of course, means tearing Christianity apart, which Muslims believe has strayed in a direction not intended by Jesus. 
killing the pig signifies restoring the rules of Judaism that were abandoned by Christians. For example, rules regarding the consumption of pork. Said Nursi was a Muslim scholar who studied these hadiths and believed he had come upon the timeline of these events. According to his interpretation, the earth will end with earthquakes, fire, and a one-eyed beast fighting with the Messiah, and when Gog and Magog descend upon the earth. Gog and Magog appear in the Torah, the Quran, and the Bible, sometimes as humanoid beings, other times representing hostile nations. Nursi believed that all of this would happen in the year 2129. One of the most easily identifiable beliefs of Judaism is their anticipation of the Messiah. It should come as no surprise then that some have attempted to pinpoint the exact time of his arrival. Elijah of Vilna, an 18th century scholar, devised a method of measuring time to count down to the Messiah's arrival. In the Bible, in Psalm 90 verse 4, it is written that 1,000 years is like one day to God. So, Eliyahu applied this to the six days of creation, making the seventh day, the Sabbath, the time when God will reign over us forever. Also known as the Messianic Age, Hebrew days work a bit differently than in the Gregorian calendar. New days begin with sunset rather than sunrise, so it's not the year 7,000, as you might think but the year 6000, believed to mark the beginning of the Messianic Age. The year 6000 will commence at sunset on September 30th, 2239. According to this belief, the Messiah must indeed come before the Sabbath, so that is the most likely possible date of his arrival, although he may appear at any time before then to prepare us for his new heavenly kingdom. Unfortunately, although the eternal Sabbath will bring complete peace and harmony, it will be only for those who actively prepare for the Messiah's coming. Rashad Khalifa was an Egyptian biochemist and, according to him, a messenger of God. In the late 1960s, Khalifa began using computers to search for mathematical codes hidden in the Quran, and by the mid-1970s, he claimed to have found them. His research focused on the frequency of words, letters, verses, numbers, and also noted that the number 19 was the key to unlocking the secrets of the ancient text. Evidence for this includes the fact that the first verse of the Quran has 19 letters, as does the first verse of the final revelation. The number of chapters between the famous missing statement and the additional statement is 19. Using these codes and clues, Khalifa deduced that the world would end in the year 2280. Moreover, in the geomathematical processing of his name, the numbers somehow added up to 19, revealing him as a prophet of the apocalypse. There is much more evidence, but you've likely grasped the essence. Like the Bible, the Quran also alerts us to several things we must pay attention to, such as the impending end of the world. Buddhism claims that the world will end, but first, you need to know that Buddha, who founded Buddhism on earth, came from our world and was an ordinary human being. His real name was Siddhartha Gautama, and he claimed that his teachings would be forgotten 5,000 years after his death, around the year 4517 AD. At that time, we will all live selfishly and sinful lives. Another Buddha is purported to descend to earth and revive the religion sometime in the following 80,000 years, which is the time people will still be living. Then the preaching of the seven sons will advance. The first son will witness all plant life drying up. When the second son appears, all animals will become extinct. The third, fourth, and fifth sons will dry up rivers, lakes, and oceans, while the sixth son will initiate an era of violent volcanic destruction. When the seventh sun finally appears, the earth will ignite and burn into complete non-existence. One could easily argue that the suns are used to measure time. However, believers in this religion generally take them to be literal suns, either entering our solar system or about to enter as a supernova. Fortunately, Anyone can avoid this fate simply by achieving enlightenment and nirvana, which should be achievable if you have a Buddha and 80,000 years of life. These were just some of the possible dates. If you want to know more, we have added a link in the description of the video where you can find a list of all the predictions and dates of the possible apocalypse. So, which of these dates do you think will be the end of our world? That's all from us for today. If you're interested in videos filled with mysterious mysteries, dark stories, legends, or monsters, and you crave more, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos.